Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a very simple search bar like this one. So let's get started. Now we are going to create a new project. In this new project we need two dependencies. The first one is Axios from where we are going to get our data. The second one is fuse.js so once we added those two dependencies we are going to use the tool to get our data we have used two columns the title we call it full name and another title with residency as key once you have those click on generate ipi and copy the link Okay, now we come back to our app TSX. From here, the first thing that we want to do is to import Axios and also React use state and use effect. We also want an interface of our data. So we are going to create an interface so the program can know what is inside. Now we are going to add the states. So we need two, the fetched data and the filtered data by search. Both of them are of type of array of data. Now we are going to add the config for our ACX call. So it will be a get with the URL that you have copied. Now we are going to create a function. Fetch data. With fetch data, we are going to use Axios with the config and get the data and set the data to both set fetch data and set search data. Now, when we start the application, we want to run fetch data once, so we use effect and fetch data only once. Now we go to the front end. From here, we are going to add the input from where we are going to search. and the search data where we are going to pass the ID as key and we have the item full name and item residency now we are going to create the search item function so we create the function and from here we can see that this function take as parameter the query so the word introduced in search and with this query it's going to search in the fuse that we created with the fetched data and inside these two important elements that we passed are full name and residency the two columns are key so then in the search query can search in those two columns. So we need to import views now. Then if the result length is more than zero, so we get some result, we are going to set new search data with the 
final result that we got from the search. Otherwise, we are going to set the fetched data at the beginning. Now we save the file and let's try. Cool, it works. Hope you found interesting this video and subscribe for more videos and see you in the next one. Bye.